Dr. Erica Warren, and I'm here from Good Sensory Learning and Dyslexia Materials, and I wanted to show you some strategies on how to teach students more about angles. Acute, right, obtuse. Acute, right, obtuse. Parallel, perpendicular, intersecting lines. Vertical, adjacent. There are many kinds. Complementary, supplementary. Practice many times. So now you've seen my little presentation on angles, but what I'd like to do is make it even more multisensory and accommodating to kinesthetic learners. So I wanted to show you my strategy here for bringing the body into the exercise. Acute, right, obtuse. Acute, right, obtuse. Parallel, perpendicular, intersecting lines. Vertical, Adjacent, there are many kinds. Complementary, supplementary, practice many times. Hi, as an additional idea, I also wanted to suggest to use manipulatives in the classroom. Um, using straws, you can use the flexible straws or the non-flexible straws to create the different types of angles. In this case, I've got actually pencils that I covered in fluorescent tape. Um, or you can just use pens so that they, students can actually create the different types of angles and that can make it more fun and it also helps to encode it for a lot of students that are tactile learners. Now that I've shown you these strategies, I want to encourage you to teach these to your students. I also want to encourage you to put the activity to music or to encourage the kids to do a dance routine. You can also do the activity with two students. So when you're doing the parallel, for example, para and then the other kid does lel with their hand so that they can make a more interactive activity and that can be more fun for kids. So I am very anxious to see how you guys uh, like this idea and would love to hear some feedback. Thanks so much. Bye.